Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Plotline if you're still losing the map. Actually, when I completely forgot to consider that possibility that this guy might not be completely alive. Give me a moment, will you? Uh, well, actually, this is just fine. Right? You good? You good? You good? Everyone's good. No one minded me bleeding them a little bit. Now the girls on the other side, on the other hand, they might mind. They were sort of tempted to try it anyway. But I suspect they might not like it. Are you okay? It's fine. Some people are completely okay with watching you. I mean, they're all family, I guess. You know, they know what to expect from family. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I don't think we've met before. It said Maria Rossellini on my invitation. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Everyone here is so serious. Nadia Milliner, it's a pleasure to meet you, Maria. Are you from the Chicago Rosalinis? It's a hell of a town. Oh, you must give my regards to Great Aunt Frances when you get back. I stayed with her last time I was out that way. She was very sweet to me. It will be revealed to Aunt Frances. Tell me of Nadia. I'm working on my masters out here. I'm from back east. The Giovannis have been nice enough to let me stay here while I finish up my studies. I've learned a great deal from them. Like you wouldn't believe. What sights have your young eyes witnessed? I, um, I really can't say much about that. But we are flesh and blood, and so are you. Oh, forget about it, really. It's nothing. You look so grown, but that's so illegal. Um, I just remembered something I have to do. Excuse me. Just leave me alone. Alright. Oops. Probably could have handled that better. You okay? Sorry, you can't come in here right now. Right, and this is the door I last time lockpicked, which caused some anger issues. But apparently, it did not need to be lockpicked at all. Hey there, Adam Dunsert. I don't think we've met. You are? My invitation says Maria. Maria, pleasure to meet you. What line of work are you in? Excellent sandwich. Professional reserver. Myself, I'm an investment banker. Great business, a lot of potential. For example, I got the inside track on this company right now. And let me tell you, when this company goes public, everyone's going to wish they had a piece of it. Give me more. Well, it's a biotech firm. You know, they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. A lot of things could. We could speculate for hours. Interested? You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million, sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rocket back any week now. The horse is sickly and your ride is dying. I won't lie to you. I've had a couple of busts here and there. I've had a few losses. It happens. But this company, this is the big score right here. Anything you wanted to invest, 50, 30, 15 grand, whatever, it's high yield, low risk. If the wishing well has dried up, don't throw your coins in. Well, the business, it's... Decaying. Okay, alright. You change your mind, you let me know. Where's the punch bowl? I'm to throw a few. Hello? Sorry, you can't come in here right now. You are. This sure is a party. What? Oh, uh, sure. What's stirring? Nothing to be concerned about. Excuse me. Storm clouds overhead? Why? Family events. Uh, how many more of these do we have to attend before we're taken seriously? I mean, honestly. It burns me like a thousand suns. They're pitting us against our own flesh and blood for the privilege of joining the power clique. All you hear is, what have you done? 
How much did you make? Who do you know? You can't tell anyone anything because they might use it against you. You like playing in dirt as much as any of your cousins. The heart says no, but the businessman in me tells me to smear them into the ground. I guess I would. And I know they'd probably do the same. If I assume secrets, you'd bite the skeletons? Yeah, I guess I would. I ripped mines of this party and turn. I don't like that choice of words. I will scour the minds of this party indeed. Is that okay? Disgraziano. I'd rather uh, not use that word. Given that opportunity, some thought? The opportunity? Well, it's a bio. Yeah, we. I don't have the fire, but I have lots of zeros. Do you have cash? Credit? We could set it up over the phone right now. You'd really be helping me out a lot and making a tidy profit to boot. Help me tidy the boot? It's just that business is a little slow lately. But you know how the economy is. It goes down, but it'll shoot right back up again. And this is the horse to bet on. I guarantee it. Your horse is sick when you ride this time. I won't lie to you. I've had a couple of busts here and there. Had a few losses. It happened. Yeah, we've discussed this. Yeah. Well, the king. Okay. Oh. Sarcophagus? I might have heard something. Isn't that a nanotech firm? Think more about peak money. Well, well okay, it... we have discussed this. Uh, I didn't know where I'd be in five years. I don't know where I am right now. It sounds risky, I know. But when this pays off. Your promises are made of wit. I have lots of zeros with me, but very few other numbers. Do you have cash? Your promises are made of wet cardboard. You take risks in this game. Sometimes we've discussed a lot of these things. I won't lie to you. I don't have to do anything, you say. Okay. All right. Now I managed to get away from that. Just leave me alone. Right. Yeah. So whatever I could have gotten out of you, I will never do now because I did not successfully persuade you in that conversation. Do any of these doors actually work? The answer is no. Well, I thought I had issues to talk to your family. Yeah, I guess I would. Hmm. It's so nice to see you again. Can't get anything out of her now. And all I'm told is, you know. This guy can't get anything done. These guys don't want to let me anywhere. And. I don't know, let's just. Uh, do it my way. Bad monkey, no banana. Show me the bad monkey, no banana. Give me the dodge ability of at least four. But that means we are next working on dodge, apparently. I couldn't dodge. Is it very impressive? I need nine more experience. Then we can dodge better. And also, I can't pick up this chair. As sad as that may be. I'm hoping this one is not to the sarcophagus and is indeed to the book I seek, but I don't think it is. I have to look around a little bit more. I want to see what's in that uh, one area. Backyard, was it? Hey, hi. Let's check this out real quick. Are there more family members out here that I can talk to?
garbage. Garbage. You're the family? You're a god, aren't you? Yeah, you're... You're that type of family. Was that just an alternative exit I could have taken? Or entrance, even. Yeah, you're already cool. I guess that's okay. I have an invitation, don't shoot me. I am a okay. But still feel like there was supposed to be another way around. Huh. Sorry, you can't come in here right now. No, I can't use this door. Okay. That's fine. I exited by that door. But entering by that door is not as cool. By the way, you're not supposed to be here. Who, who are you? I am supposed to be here. I am uh, moving around so I can get back to the main entrance because I am not allowed to go back to the pool. Hi. I hope you're having a nice day and all. But I'm gonna have to hope that the book, the grimoire, I seek. It's also down here because it's if it, this leads only to the sarcophagus. We have not done all we can in this place. Giovanni book. Excellent. Okay, we're fine. We're better than fine, we're excellent. We're on our way uh, to be on the best of terms. I did forget that the Giovanni are necromancers, aren't they? Hello, zombies! They're dead. They're probably gonna spawn more and more and more. No, you can't have my brains. I'm using them for later. Well, saving them for later. <gasps> I saw a shiny. Solar Sept. Is Solar Sept really what I thought it was? I'm gonna have to check again. Saulo said, A tidal chorus of whispers washes across your thoughts. They seem to be offering guidance, but their message eludes your conscious mind. Their motivations are unknown, but you find yourself increasingly willing to submit to their guidance. As long as you possess Saulo Sept, you will gain an extra point of experience every time you are awarded three or more experience. Saulo Sept may or may not have other effects. I mean, I'm already sort of, you know. Markavian. So working with voices, uh, not really much of a change. It's what my brain is used to. Where does this road go? I really want to move. This seems to me like none of that. I didn't realize that that door was openable. I thought all of them were just, you know, doing their own thing. Just being parts of the people. So 100% didn't expect anything to change from that. Alright, so we have one experience. We need eight more. And I think this place should provide a fair bit. And when I deliver the Chamani book to our friend, that will also be helpful. Why is there such intense music now? 
Who placed our music in the tents? Okay, I can't go that way. And I believe this may, might also be a trap. But I'm gonna test it. Yep. Very trap like. Oh no, I don't want you to have my brains. I told you I was saving them for later. For when I have a dodge modifier of 4 so I can read a book. Okay, so this was a sample room, I guess. Since it didn't actually... Progress. Oh, no. Whoa. That that was a bit of a larger group than I expected, I'll be honest with you. I was expecting like maybe two? Well, actually no, I 100 percent was expecting an empty corridor. I did not expect Zombles. But I suppose that was my mistake. I love it when they go into pieces. It's where they belong. In pieces. What is with all these corridors? This door won't open. This door won't open. This door will open and holds no secrets they can use. This door will open. And also doesn't seem to hold any secrets that they can use. And actually there's another door here. That might be the secret they seek. Now I'm really worried if I missed anything upstairs because that place was big. Let's go back. Because let's be fair. I ain't afraid of no uh, Sumble. But I believe Sumbles are not anything to be worried about. Neither is a clipping camera. I mean, if it was in first person, it would be clipping. So, that's just because I'm running around with a sword out. But do you want to check this site, just in case there's any treasure? Because this sign is like not meant for progression because this just leads down to that bit I mean on the other hand like it could have been possible to just maybe take a shortcut from here yeah this actually offers me nothing as well Okay, well, at least it checked. And I'm now convinced that that offered me nothing. We are getting quite close to the end game. I believe. We're not quite to the end yet, but we are getting closer. For some reason, my brain always thinks of the Giovanni place has the first sign of the end. Another type of end that the uh, game is promising, or the type of end that the Sabbat are promising, it's just like a sign of the end of the game. 
the sarcophagus. Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now or face the consequences of your actions. Where do you think this sanger stems from? Your father, maybe? There is an alliance between your leader Lacroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. Alliance is still another word for untruth. We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? Aren't you guys a little small to be bosses? Mind telling me your weakness? The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously. But my life is mine. Alright. Blade brother and claw brother. What they are not considering is that I am the blade sister. Oh, they're do doing like holy ritual shit. Or in the words of others, they're doing holy shit. Your brother is dead, Domingo. But by the looks of it, so am I. Uh, hello. I should maybe buy some more blood. Yeah. But the Elder White actually fills me up completely, maybe I should not have drunk that. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Ah, you throw fireballs. Right. It's like you didn't know that I also bought a sword. Okay, that's gonna be another fireball probably. Where did you fly? Off to. Up there again. Yeah, that's a fireball. Oh, you were the fireball! You were inside the fireball! That I did not expect. And did you want it didn't give a fuck? That I just walked in, grabbed a shit and left? Alright. Sure. Well. I think this is the time I call the episode. Next time we start talking about the current sarcophagus. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.